welcome to Christy's Stampin' Spot. I'm Christy. I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator here in the United States. And I am so excited. I'm going to play with my July Paper Pumpkin. So let's get started. Let me turn you guys down. <gasps> Yay! So, oh my goodness. So my box got a little smushed. So I did take it out of the box, and I did start, I made, um, I did make three of the beautiful cards. Um, but when you get your box, uh, hopefully you've had a chance to get your uh, July Paper Pumpkin. Uh, it's called Sending Good Thoughts. It's so gorgeous. Love, love, love. I'm so super excited. And we actually have refills are now also available um, in my online store. But um, when you first get your box, you open, you will see um, the advertisement for next month's kit. So you have until August um, 10th to get this. But isn't that beautiful? It is um, Sweet Sunflowers. And um, this, this kit, besides having a really pretty box, um, and not just our regular orange boxes, it comes with two classic ink spots, um, as well as it has these really pretty um, gold uh, mesh. You can't really see it on this picture, but it's a gold mesh um, honeycomb sheet, which is really pretty. And so those are eight of those. You'll get those for free and as a free gift. As well as we have some vellum honeycomb shape pre-cuts. And this kit will make um, nine cards, three of each design, uh, each design, like the ones that we're going to make today with um, this gorgeous, oh my gosh, I just really, really like this so much. Look at that boat. Oh, so cool. Okay, so that's next month. And then... Um, I can't wait till that one's going to be pretty too, but oh, these ones are so pretty. So when you get your box, so the box is orange, your normal box, it comes as orange. This is actually my June box because, like I said, my July box got squished, but luckily the way Stampin' Up! has it packaged, none of it was damaged, so it's, it's fabulous. And when you get your box, um, besides having a little advertisement of what's coming next, it's your very first paper pumpkin. You'll get this super cute little block. Um, that all of your stamps will fit on um, so that you always have that. That only comes your very first kit. Um, I, of course, just use my, my regular blocks, and these are, you can tell the difference. These are the, the paper pumpkin, which is a lovely to go um, on the go because it, it's not nearly as big and bulky. It's, it makes great, and it's a D size, which is perfect um, for on the go. But I'm going to use my <laughs> more economic ones, and these ones you can buy in my, um, on the, they're in the catalog annual catalog and on my online store. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so when you get your kit, these are the beautiful cards. Oh my gosh, these are so cute, guys. Um, they'll come in a plastic wrap. You'll have your stamp set on the top as well as your um, ink pad or ink spot. And this is our little, the ink spot that comes in um, for the July uh, Sending Good Thoughts Paper Pumpkin. You do get the Bermuda Bay spot, which is pretty awesome. So cute. I love it. But I, open mine up. I just have my big one out. And then the stamp set is so fabulous. Like, I'm loving the stamp set so much. Let's see if I turn this over. Actually, I want to use the blue. It's these pool party envelopes. You guys see that nice? You guys should. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see the stamp set. It is so pretty. I love, love, love. So it's got, like, the little map um, or the note that you can put it go, that goes in the bottle. You've got your a little star, starfish wishing you all the best, um, sending good thoughts, and the bot, the ship for your bottle. And then a lovely texture and a little seahorse and some seaweed. And thinking of you and uh, can't wait to see you. So that is the stamp set, the photopolymer that comes with that. And um, when you get your stamp set, we've been having a lot of extra residue. So when they make these fa fabulous photopolymer stamps, um, when they get them out, it kind of has a residue when they eject them out. And if you find that your um, ink is beading, or you're not getting a really good image, you need to clean it. It's still got some of that stuff on it. And the best way to do that is with our Versamark. So if you haven't gotten our Versamark, um, it is a water watermark. I'll show you guys. I actually seasoned these already, but I'll show you guys how to season it. It's an easy way to get really nice images with your photopolymer if um, they still have residue. It's lovely, it gets off. You can also use a little bit of Dawn uh, in warm water and rinse them out onto the sink. But I just use 
my Versamark and then um, wipe it off of my chamois. It works like a charm. Love, love, love. But I love this. Okay, so you'll get your pack and then you'll open it up and you'll get this lovely instructions. Hang on, I'm going to need to back up so you guys can see better. It has like a picture of all of the cards as well as how to make the cards. And then on the back, you'll have, well, right here, it has all the things you need to gather to make each of those cards. Like I said, there's, you get to make three of each. I've already made one of each, so I'll pull out the stuff to make the second. And then, um, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you should have gotten an email today. And definitely check out that email because I'll also have all this stuff posted on my website, under my blog post. I'll probably go live tomorrow. Um, but the kit components, um, um, that's really, you can see, make sure you got everything that comes in your kit, but it will have like the, the, in that newsletter, it'll have like the case that you can download. So it will fit in one of our DVD cases, the size cases that have, um, a regular stamp cases that'll have like all the image of your stamp set. So you can keep that if you keep all of your, um, fabulous photopolymer stamps like that and um, and some extra ideas and stuff. They have links to all that. So that's a really great thing. So if you haven't had, a if you get that newsletter and you're like, oh, I already got it, don't want to check, totally do. As well as it has the video um, that is the unboxing that kind of shows you kind of a speed up version of how to make these cards. So um, they're so pretty. Like I am so excited. I, I It's like every month it's like, this is my new favorite kit. It's my new favorite kit. I love this kit so much. Okay. So you get the coordinating envelopes. So you get nine envelopes, and these are like pool party, um, the white on the interior. It's got this nice deep um, triangle fold. It's so pretty. I love, I love it. I love the paper pumpkin envelopes. <laughs> um, but luckily, we have pool parties, so we don't need to have to cut into this one like I did last last month with my um, the envelopes. And then, um, if you don't have a uh, mat, I have my mat here. I cut mine in half. Um, here's the other half. Or no, here's like a, what it full, a full one looks like. I've got it. And then this is the half. If you don't have one of those, make sure you don't throw away your um, piece of cardboard because you can totally use that. When you use um, something, a little bit of GIF under your photopolymer, it does help your, your stamped image do better. So if you don't have one of these fabulous that's, I think they're like five or six bucks in my online store, the Stampin' Pierce mat. Um, but this will work in a pinch too, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so there are, um, let's get the cards out first. So like I said, it's three designs of, um, for nine cards, and you have the, a fabulous Bermuda Bay base. This is the going, um, it's not going gray, I keep calling it going gray. It's basic gray. And then this looks like Fresh Frasia are the card bases. So you get three of each of those, and then they have the card fronts. They've got this gorgeous fresh frasia, and can you guys see? It is, these are embossed, which is so awesome, right? It's you can see the little waves on it, and then it's got kind of an ombre effect. It's so pretty. This fresh frasia is just it's just gorgeous. And then the same thing with this one. This one looks like it's got maybe a little bit of the pool party with the Bermuda Bay, and it is ombre a little bit. And it definitely got the texture, but it also is embossed. I don't know if you can, you can't really see it as much on this one because the embossing follows the ink. It's really pretty. And then on the last one, it is that. Isn't that gorgeous? You can really see it. So it's got like the clouds, um, and then there's all the waves uh, for the ocean. So pretty, so pretty. So um, those are your card, our card fronts. It goes on our card bases, and then we have some die cut. Okay, so we need. We're going to need one of each of these. Now, if you can tell, I didn't throw these away. Um, I'll have to, I'll show you. I used some pieces online um, for the back. But we're going to need, we're going to need to punch each of those out. We're going to need one of these um, banners and a circle. Um, and one of these. And then we are going to need some of these bottles. Now, this bottle is the one that I'm the most excited about because um, it's the one with you can put the boat in, but I'm going to show you how to make some more of these bottles. We're going to use, so when you're popping these out, be careful not to rip your page because we're going to use this, our, um, the reverse side, to make a stencil so we can make 
more of these bottles in that shape, right? So, okay. And then I, again, like I use some more of those pieces. So let's go ahead and do, those are all the pieces. Now let's make the, um, the little piles, yeah? Okay. So let me turn it this way. <laughs> I'm get a little lost. All right, we'll be done. Okay, so... We're gonna make the blue, this one of the blue stripes first. And so we'll need a, this one we'll need a gray, um, a basic gray card base. We're gonna need um, the card front that is like this. So then that's the other one. And then we're going to need, um, this one does not have the bottom. Oh no, it does, they all have a bottle, right? This one is, this one I'll have the thing looking for. This one is the littlest bottle. So the littlest bottle, which is awesome, is that that is the one that matches our, um, our vintage bottle punch, as well as the vintage bottle, um, our little shaker domes, and matches, so that bottle also matches. Um, this is the vintage Christmas, which is in the um, uh, holiday mini. And July to December 2022 mini catalog, and it's this bottle right here. And then the bottle of happiness is actually in our annual catalog as well. It's a, in a bundle with the vintage bottle punch, and um, it matches this bottle and this bottle here. So th both of these stamp sets coordinate with this punch, and then the punch coordinates with our with today's um, project, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so then I need, I need a piece of this lovely coral, and I really tried to be careful getting these out. You can, of course, use this. I saw simply use this um, as to using your, your um, blending brush on top of this as a stencil. But I actually ended up cutting mine up, and oh, I guess it was on this one cut it up and added the piece of the fire. This the one that's more poppy parade. I actually cut up these little edge pieces. And in this one I put I cut these up and added them <laughs> behind my um, seagull um, to add a little bit more texture to that side. Um, so definitely all this stuff is so awesome. Right? Like it's it all works so fabulously. Love love love. So, okay, so I'm going to go, just checking to make sure it looks like it's going. Awesome sauce. Okay, so we need one of these. We're going to need um, a star. We're not going to need the seagull yet. We're going to need, oh wait, no, that's this one. Doo -doo -doo. I'm looking at this one. Just need that. We need a, um, a big banner. And big one of these. Okay, I think that's the banner and that coral and the bottle. So it looks like that's all. Let's look at our let's look at our sheet. Yes. Okay. So then when you see on here these little black dots, that's the glue dots. So the bigger white dots, that's their stampin' um, dimensionals. And we're gonna need the ink and we're gonna need um, the the uh, thread. Where did I do my limited thread? It was here. And that also comes in, as well as little glue dots come with it. Here's our thread. And they do have um, a measuring tape along the side of here so that you will know um, exactly how much you need to do. Okay, so let's set this stuff aside then. And I'll come back to it. We'll just pull, pick out the rest we need to do the next one. Okay, let's see here. Do, do, do. So I'll put these two gorgeous ones over here. I'll do this one here so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> as my kind of example. There's my instructions. All right. So I'm just going to use my bone folder. It is um, pre-folded, but it's scored already. I like to do that. I'm just going to go this way. 
and then it's this one. And if you look at the instructions, it says to add five stamp dimensionals to the back of this your um, card front, and you place it there. And you're gonna we're gonna add, um, stamp the the texture on the banner. We're gonna stamp the note or the map scroll whatever into the bottle, and we're going to do can't wait to see you on our little piece of paper here on the little banner um, here, and then um, we are going to use the little three little goo dots to add our coral piece to the front on top of the banner and then and then the banner so it looks like they they build the banner and then they use um, stamp and dimensionals to add it to our card front okay so let's do our stamping first now for this like I'll I'll show you we're gonna use a can can't wait to see you I'm gonna add that to this block right here and then this is our cute little map or scroll so awesome and then we need our little um, it's really pretty um, it's like a texture piece it's pretty awesome pretty awesome okay so when you're stamping when you first get them and I've noticed that this is more and more often the way that it goes um, you need to kind of with the um, photopolymer and not just paper pumpkin but um, with with any of your photopolymer stamps and you're, you're just not happy with the image like the ink isn't sitting really well on it it's probably because it still has some of that ejection stuff on and sometimes it's rough to get off but I found the best way to do it is to use your Versamark and we sell this it is in our online store I think you can also get it um, like at Michaels but because um, it's not a Stampin' Up brand it's just one that we carry and it is a tone on tone, right? So we also use this for our heat emboss because it stays um, it stays wet longer so that we can put the powder on it. Um, but it works really great for this too. So what I'd suggest is just get that in there, get it nice um, and gooey. Don't be really light with it because we're not going to stamp it on our project. We're just going to stamp it off um, on our uh, scratch paper grid paper but get it nice and gooey so like it really gets in there um, and then just stamp it off a couple of times on your excess paper you won't really if depending on what color your um, paper is you might not even see it it's kind of glossy because again it's a tone on tone so it's like barely light because the water I think call it the watermark so I do that about twice and then I just use my chamois and clean it off my little chamois just kind of get it nice and clean and then I don't have any problem so if you ever have any problems with it getting kind of um, like it's bubbly I found like especially with ones like with the map that I do have a little bit more trouble sometimes with needing that ejection but once you get that done it's so nice and then if you have and then if you have the photopolymer um, and it's a distinctive. Now, this one is not a distinctive stand set, but it is. When you do distinctive, you always want to add the ink to your stamp instead of, you know, stamping your stamp in the ink. Because that is, um, I don't know why that works so well with distinctive, but it does. And, and you'll be so much happier with how the image turns out when you do it, when you um, do the ink that way. Now, if you have, I think especially with the, the red, with our red rubber, if you still have a problem, sometimes it's just that you need to rough up your um, your stamp. And you'll use a nail file or um, like a buffer and just add just a little tiny bit of the texture. Sometimes helps. Okay, so there's that one. Now, I find too, that if you're doing white on white, it's kind of hard to see. But if you do white on um, your... I'm going to use the re the dark uh, color right here on my grid paper, or you can use it. Uh, oh, actually, it would be better if I do it on my on my pad like this, do do do, so you can really see it. Um, then it's much easier to 
stamp your image if you can see where your lines are. <laughs> I find that it's much easier to line up when I can really see where I'm going to be stamping. Let's see if I got it. There you go. Can't wait to see you. Awesome sauce. But these are, you, you know, you can do it on either side, although we're going to um, stick it down so they're not going to be able to see it. So it doesn't matter if you have to do it on the back. Okay. Oh, wait. We're doing all the stamping. Okay. So here is my bottle. And you can tell if you're having trouble with it, if it beads up um, and, the, and the ink doesn't want to stay on it. That means that means you really do need to to do the use your Versa mark, but this looks like it looks pretty good. Now when I do the ship in the bottle, I'm going to use my um, Stamp Rat S. Oh my gosh, look how awesome that turned out! It's so nice. Love, 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 love. And of course, after you do it, try it first on scrap paper. Don't try it first on your on your project. Um, okay, so I think those are the only three I have to do. That'd be nice. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside for right now. And now we can build. So they have us build it onto our, um, I actually put, I was trying to be all good and put my pieces away. Now I was out of my dimensionals. And I was, I had, or uh, not out of dimensionals, out of my glue dots. And now I got more glue dots, but um, I kind of hoard all my paper pumpkin ones. <laughs> they work so good for sequins. Also for, for things like this, because you can see like this is really small and these are really tiny. Um, I love our regular mini glue dots, but they are a little bit thicker, right? They, ha they give a, a tiny bit dimension, right? But they're also, um, I don't know, you can't really see. They're a little bit bigger. They're a little bit bigger than these ones. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and use these. I'm going to use my take a pick tool and just off. And they just use three, but I'll probably use more than three. I'm, gonna put, I'm totally using more than three. You're saying you just need three, but I tend to put more glue dots than less on here. I want it to be nice and stuck down. So I'm just looking for like the bigger, thicker piece parts of the branch, um, or of the of the coral, coral, and sticking these on here. There we go. That way I can get it good. And then I don't think I can get it off like that. Just use my tool. Move it out of the way. Like my control. Look at that, I dropped it right back on top. The only thing with, with um, these are like stamp dimensionals, in that the backing just wants to stay. Man, I love this. I love the multicolors. I love the texture that they've added to the paper. It's so pretty. And the fact that they're um, in dry embossed, the card fronts are so awesome. I just like it. They just get better and better. Okay. Then, let's see, oh, here's my, I should move it back over here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to just add it, just like that. And then I need, i put Stampin' Dimensionals on here. And you do get a little thing of Stampin' Dimensionals. I don't know what I did with mine. I set it aside, I think. That's fine. They say how many I'm supposed to use. I'm sure it's only two. Oh, they just they just put one. I'm going to totally put two. I'm going to put one there and one there. And look at that. It came out on my fingers. I don't need those. I'll just put it back. Awesome. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different. I like, um, I'm going to tie around here. I'm just going to tie it around here and make little bit of a, a knot. I'm 
that. Cut it. Oh, that looks good just like that, but we want to make a bow. Then I'm going to make a bow, and I'm just going to add it with a glue dot to my stamp, to my um, uh, sentiment, because I don't want to thread it through. I have a hard time with threading it through. So, just going to make my little bow. So cute! Oh my goodness, okay. I do love thread, um, linen thread. And then I'm going to um, take, so the, we have these edges right here on, your, on the dimensionals. And I'm going to take those and stick them right here behind there. And then I'm going to um, use a glue dot. I'm going to use a big glue dot. I do them. I am gonna just put the glue dot like right here where the hole is. And then um they have it going this way. So let me move it because I did the other one to go the other way. I always want things to go one way that same way. I always change everything to be that way that over. I'm going to go ahead and stick it like that. Oh, that's why I, I stamped it that way. So I guess I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it this way. So when you're stamping it, see how I said the can't wait this way? They stamped it so the can't wait was this way. That was why I changed it. So if you want it to go, just keep that in mind when you're doing your, um, if you want, if you want the tag to go this way, um, stamp it. So it's the other direction. I guess. Because I have it going the other way. So they can't go to the other side. Do, do, do. I just add a glue dot to my bow. And then I'm just going to add it to put it upside down. There we go. Just like that. Super easy. Okay, and then I'm going to take the dimensionals off of my tag as well as my bottle. And then the bottle goes like right in the middle. And then that just goes down like that. Very nice. And then we use some dimensionals on our tag. And then we need dimensionals on our um, oops, on our panel here. So then, so it looked like it was going to rain earlier, um, and it looks like maybe it'll be uh, I'll be able to get through this without the storm hitting. Who knows? It's hard to tell. Our our monsoon is though in full swing, so it's hard to tell um, when the rain will start. Um, but it looked like it was pretty overcast right from the jump. My poor hubby is home um, sick. He did take his COVID test and he is negative. He's got some kind of a, I don't know, like a cold. Of course, right? Um, but he did take the COVID test. It came back negative. So that's not what it is. But he is starting on antibiotics and all the stuff. So it's always one of those starting the summer cold. Although, I guess... Technically, our summer, even though it's super hot, school is about to start. I always think of summer as being when school starts, school being over. And the teachers went back already um, earlier this week. Um, and I think students start next week. Super quick. And the summer just goes by so quick. I remember thinking that summer, you know, would last a while as a kid, but... That's an adult. It just goes by super quick. June, I think we blinked and we were gone through it. July, too. Like, it just was super, super quick. Never, you always have, like, a thousand things you want to do. <laughs> you never have enough time. You never seem to have enough time. Oh, I do know. What is say Thursday? So I think the Super Dog movie is coming out. My daughter is excited. She loves those animated. I mean, I do too, but she's been looking forward to this one for a while. Look, 
How cute. Oh my gosh. Isn't that Toads Adorbs? So that's the first card. And I on, when, on, my, on my sample, I actually went ahead and I stamped on the inside. So if you like to stamp on the inside, um, I used, that is the, um, the seaweed stamp and the textured stamp. And then on the back, I did the same thing. And I added the, um, the map on the inside or the, the scroll on the back. So I stamped that. And then if you look really close, even though they aren't included in this, I did add some of those fine sparkle gems. They were on my desk when I was making it. I'm like, oh, I love them. So I did add some. So those are cute. But look, even without that, it is fabulous. I just love all the colors and the texture. Um, it's super awesome. Okay, so that was that's the first card. Now let's get the second card. Clean my stamp off so I don't get it all over everything. Okay, so let's do, what's the next one? Ooh, the pink one. Or I guess it's the Fresh Frasia. And for the Fresh Frasia, oh, that one. Oh, it's so pretty. It means we've left my favorite one for last. I do. Okay, so for this one, we're going to need the star. And, um, star and our super cute little seahorse. I love this poppy parade. And then it kind of has like the, um, um, I don't know. It's like. I guess because it's ombre, right? It looks, the first phrase, it looks so pretty. So pretty. And again, like, just like with this one, you could, um, and I guess this too, you could use your um, brush or dauber, um, your blending brush or dauber to actually use that as a stencil, which is pretty cool. Now this one has the medium size um, bottle. What did I do with medium size bottle? Here we go. Do, do, do. Um, I need this medium sized bottle. Like I said, when you pull these out, be careful. You don't, you want to keep this. That's pretty awesome. And this is for the next one. So we need, a, this one doesn't need a banner. I think that's the last one. This one just needs this bottle. Yep, and it needs a circle. It's got a nice little fresh Frasia. So pretty. We need a Fresh Frasia card base and one of these fabulous textured card fronts. So nice. So nice. Okay. There we go. Now we seem that we've got what we've got going on here. Right, let's move that out of the way. So you guys can see what's going on. Okay. So again, we're gonna fold our card. And it is scored already, but I always just use my bone folder to try to that nice and crisp. So nice. Do love, love, love. Let's see if I can make that a little farther because I'm getting it together. Okay, and then this is our card front. And I love the debossed. You guys see that? Oh, it's so cool. So nice. And we know that we need to put five of these on there. So let's go ahead and get that done right away so I'm not fighting with it. And did I put the um, emb the embossed things. Let's see, what did I do with them? Did I stick them back in here? Yep, over here. I'll do five. Now, if you're going to mail these, one of the tricks they're saying, if you're going to mail, put them in the mail. If you don't put something in the middle, then they squish a little bit easier in the mail. They're not as bulky. Or, if you want to put one in the middle, make sure it doesn't fall. It doesn't squish down. So, depending on what you like. And then um, it has it so the light is at the top. This is kind of like waves. It's so pretty. I'm going to put that on top of our card front. And I feel like I have to hold my tongue just right. I never can seem to get these ones on. The stamp of dimensionals. I always want to use glue because then I can kind of, it's easier to square it on. See, look, I still got it sideways. I don't know, I guess I did okay. <laughs> it's so hard. I find it hard to put the, the use the, um, just don't push it down until you're, you're happy with where it's at. I don't know why it's 
control of this. There we go. There we go. Look how pretty. Oh, love. Okay. Then, okay, so now we can set that aside. Now we know we want to, for this one, we want to stamp um, the, what is this, the, our seaweed. And where did I put the thing? There we go. So we need to put our seaweed. Oh, we need this one too. Um, we can put our seaweed on this one. Our seaweed for our bottle. We need this one for the star. This one doesn't need one, so we can set that aside. And so does our, our seahorse doesn't need anything stamped on it. But we also need our sentiment. And our sentiment they used here was the wishing you all the best. So let's get out our little wishing you all the best. I can take the map off. There we go. Put that back on there. Like I said, I find that using, um, um, use your, well, let's use a little one. Your mat is really important. Okay. And again, we're using the Bermuda Bay. This is my big one, not the spot, but um, there we go. And move this out of the way. I have my camera a little bit too far up, I think. Okay, oops. Nice inked. Looks like you just need to stamp this down here in the bottom. So pretty. Very nice. And then so we got that one done. I thought I was saying, ooh, somebody's got something. Ah, ooh, Karen. Hi, Karen. We had a chance to play with yours yet. Love, love, love this set. So awesome. I I know we can get refills. I'm so tempted to get refills um, that are now available in our online store. Okay, then we need to do um, stamp on our star, and I am going to stamp off. So I'm going to get my my other one so I don't get ink all over. You can tell this is I just covered it with. Um, my grid paper. Let me just close it like that. Not pretty. Ooh, I think I want a little bit more. You can just add as much texture as you want. They just did it once, I think, on the video, but I like it more. I love that. It looks so cool. Yay! Okay. Off. There's that one. And then we're going to add our wishing you all the best. Oh, and I know. Um, Karen also has been feeling, her and her family have been under the weather too. Hope you guys are doing well. Feeling much better. Go. I very much hope. Um, I know my hubby, I'm hoping he gets better. He doesn't have COVID, but um, then at least if he had had, then he would know what, what was wrong with him. But he just has an icky cold. Go. So I guess that's good. It's just so hard to tell. Look at that. Not pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so that's all we need for the stamping. Just was double checking. <laughs> Put that away. And don't need our stamps. I can put my thing away. Now we can just bring this, put this together. Okay, so we're going to put our bottle on first, and we need stampin' dimensionals. I keep throwing them over there. You know, you wanna, it, it feels like I always go lower, quick, slower, um, smaller and smaller and smaller my uh, space, and then I never have enough. <laughs> I've never have enough space. That's because I keep going lower and lower and lower. Okay, I think I'm actually going to put four. Just down the middle. And this is like a little off-center, and then I want to make sure I put my uh, thread on. Uh, does it say how much thread that you need for this? Um, I don't know if it actually says how much thread you need. Oh, it does. You guys see it says it needs nine inches. So if you're going to do this with nine inches, you could go just like doo -doo -doo, you only need nine inches. The other one I just went off on the edge. 
<laughs> I just did it without even checking that. You can. It's pretty awesome that they have that on there. I have actually, when I um, when I take this to go, I do actually um, use that that more often. I think um, one time I took it and I forgot my ruler, and I actually used that when I was measuring where I wanted to cut my paper too. It's very convenient. One of the things about paper pumpkin I love is it's so great to take. Um, on vacation because it has all the things you can add you can add your block in there pretty easily and you know a few other little supplies and it's in that box it's so nice so nice okay let me get that over one of the things I saw when I rewatched the video is they actually instead of letting these fly loose they actually tied it again at the, here Let's see they put another little knot at the bottom Let's see if I can do that. Maybe. Okay, like I said, I have to hold my head tongue just right to get that to go over. But now my daughter's in, I only have one in school, um, and we did get some clothes. But she doesn't, we don't do like the big, I remember when they were little, we did that big school shopping. Now... Now there's no school shopping. <laughs> now they have the clothes they want all year round. We did do some shopping when we went on vacation. Um, we actually stopped at, oh, where were we? Um, El Centro. So we used to stop at El Centro um, on the way back from California because they had a giant Toys R Us, which I loved, right? And sadly, Toys R Us closed. But they had a giant Ross. We hadn't been in something that was so big. Like They had like the triple... Um, the, or maybe it was four, four racks of clothes. So it was higher than I am. And my best friend is shorter than me. Um, my daughter actually is taller than my best friend. We totally couldn't see where she was. Like, so you walk in and it, it seemed huge. I didn't even get past the clothes. There were just so many racks of clothes and um, purses and shoes. Rachel, my best friend was so excited. They had like five racks or something of, of shoes. It was fun. It was like 107 or something outside. We were waiting for the rest of our party to catch up with us, and my husband made the mistake of saying, oh, you can go in and check out Ross. Hang out there <laughs> while we wait. We had such, I don't even think we bought that much stuff there, but it was so fun. I just hadn't been... It's been, it's been so long since we've been out and shopping, so we had such a good time. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we actually <laughs> bought that much stuff, but it was still fun. Okay, so then again, I need more of those little of these. We do. We'd love to just, like, shop randomly when we travel. Does anybody else like to do that? Shop when you travel and stop, especially if you're driving, right? You don't have to worry about packing it in your suitcase. Um, we used to stop and do movies. We didn't this time, though. I'm um, just at random places. But I love Toys R Us. Or, you know, I love Toys R Us. Even before my kids, before I had kids. There's just something about Toys R Us, I guess, being a child of the 80s, and, um, oh, I just, there's just something about it I loved. My husband loves it because he's really into Legos, and, you know, when you don't go to Legoland, but, you know, you go and I want to buy, they, uh, Toys R Us had, you know, rows and rows of Legos, uh, all kinds of toys. I don't know why I love it. Um, but, but when we went to Carlsbad Caverns, we actually, in New Mexico, we stopped in El Paso to go, just rent, popped into Texas, just so we could go to the Toys R Us. We're so silly. That was like the fun part of being on vacation, was doing that. So I'm very sad that Toys R Us is no longer with us, but we did stop, like I said, at the Ross. I don't know if you guys like shopping malls. We sometimes do that too, um, do the shopping malls, but I don't know why. We were just like totally in the mood. And like I said, it was huge. It was a huge Ross. So it's always exciting, especially to be in different states, to see what kinds of things are at different stores. Yeah. So, And I try to stay out of the craft stores um, because clearly I have a thing for crafts, but my daughter does as well. And so <laughs> I can spend a fortune. I have to be very careful because otherwise we would not have any room to get home in the car because she would fill it with stuff. Especially now that Michael's has like that whole storage, has all the storage containers 
right? And all the little pieces that, that move and stuff. She loves all that. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Do do. This goes right here in the corner. Okay. And I think on the example, the starfish actually like kind of goes over onto that. Let's see. I didn't do that on this one because I only kind of glanced at it and then I didn't go back to it. You guys do that too. These are guidelines. <laughs> it's not really code. It's more like guidelines. Okay, so it just goes over a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Very nice. And then I think, oh, they use a stamp of dimensional. Okay, so let's get one stamp of dimensional. Put that in the middle. it. Okay, let's put it like that. And then, oh, this is also stamp dimensional. So this is different. Um, they show your scissors here and they cut it in half. So they've actually cut the dimensional in half. Or if you have mini dimensionals um, on you, you can always use your mini dimensionals. Or if you're like um, Amy, uh, she always, Amy K always cuts hers in half. So she will of course have them. Or you could just do an edge, which is what I usually do. They want us to cut it. And then fits so lovely. I love this. So cute. Okay. And where do they have him? He's just a little bit further over. Oh, so nice. I really, really like these. They're so nice. Although I guess I'm still in the beach theme. We had such many so many really lovely beach theme um, stamps. Um, that were in the last mini, oh, that pretty. and now in the annual catalog. That turned out so gorgeous, so easy. Okay, so on the one I made before, again, I added a few of those those fine speckle, um, sparkle gems that I just had. I, don't, I think I put them away, but you don't need them. Look how gorgeous that looks without them. And then on this one, like I said, I did stamp the um, the seaweed piece on the inside and the little tiny seahorse. So the stamp is a little tiny seahorse. It matches the bigger one, but he's tiny, super cute. And then I actually cut pieces from the, um, I think I showed you guys that, but I cut the little, the little pieces off right here, just snipped them off and glued them in, just super cute. And then this one, I just did the seaweed and the, the little, um, that little seahorse is so cute. So cute. This is so lovely. Just love all the textures. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, so that's the second card. All right, so the last card's my favorite. Okay, this is one I was the most excited about. I have to tell you. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because we, we were contemplating getting the Lego. There's a Lego that has you put the ship in the bottle. We had a full debate on whether or not we were going to get it. I did not get it. I think that's something that we're going to get in the future because I have a hard time saying no to Legos. <sighs> They're so fabulous. Okay, so you're going to need a Bermuda Bay. Um, what is this? Uh, card base. You're going to need one of these beautiful blue um, card fronts. You're going to need the seagulls. The seagulls are so cute. Okay, here's my that one. Do -do -do. I need the seagull and you need the big bottle. Oh my gosh. I love, oh no, that's the bottle I made. I need the bottle that's from the, I need one of these. I'm going to show you guys how you can make those bottles as soon as I get done with this. And then where is the other piece? Oh, here it is, right here. I knew I had it somewhere. Bien! And like I said, save this off. I'm going to show you how to make something with that. I actually started it off so I could show you. So cute. I love these bottles so much. Okay, so for the, the ship in the bottle, um, I'm actually going to use my Stamparatus because I want it to be perfect. I don't think you need to have it be perfect. But I love that you only get three of these big bottles. Although I'm going to show you guys how to make more of them. Um, so you don't have to be nearly as um, precious with them. But this is like, I'm not sure. I need to figure out exactly what this is. So one of um, one of my friends got me this sticky 
it's like a sticky grid paper. I think it's from Sizzix. I think you can get it on Amazon. But I've got it tucked down under here so it holds the holds your paper down and then you have to use your magnets to hold the sticky down so that it doesn't come up. But it, I find it really easy to use when you're just doing a smaller piece that might, um, you know, uh, interfere with the stamping. So here is our fabulous boat and I'm just going to set it where I want on here. It's on the water. I'm just going to pick it up with my um, top plate here. Doo -doo -doo. And then I need my Bermuda Bay. Now if I had the, if I'd open my spot it would be easier to use your Samparatus with a spot because you can get ink. It's easier to get ink all over your, your plate when you use your big one. The little spots make it easier. But that's nice. Ah, so I wanted it to be a really nice image on here. So that is why I use my Samparatus. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Let's make the bottom of the boat just a little bit darker. Because it's got this nice blue edge. So you can do this without your Stamparatus. But I just was so excited. Am I shaking the whole table? Sorry, hopefully I'm not making you guys seasick on our, our sending good thoughts. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. So fabulous. Love, love, love. Okay, and then also I cut my chamois in half. So when you get your chamois, it's this gorgeous pretty purple. It's actually close to our... Um, this color, the Fresh Frasia. It's like a, you know, like a lavender. And I cut mine in half. And then I put both of them on top of my little platform that my husband made. And that way it keeps it nice and moist longer here in Arizona. But even with my air conditioning on. But it makes it so much nicer when they're cut in half to get all the ink off your stamp and off your plate. And you can use them like that. And again, I just wash my chamois in the, I just rinse it out. I don't even use soap on them. I just rinse them out in the water. And then I actually have to soak mine just to get them, to keep them nice and moist. And then I remember to pull them out before I am stamping so that um, they stay moist. Or you can use your, you get one of the little spritzers. I've got a little spritzer with water on it. Then I can spritz it if it dries out too quick. Um, but I do love my chamois. Okay, so then the tool. Pull that off. You can also use post-it tape too, but I'm saying it looks so good. Okay, let me put that away. Okay. So I've stamped that one. And then this is for the sending good thoughts on our so we put these away so we can see what I'm doing. Do do do. Just like that. That's right. I want to make sure you put it close. So if you see I've got mine the way I have it, you want to make sure you put it closer to the edge instead of in the middle. Let's see, is that what they have you do too? It is. You can see on the directions where they have you stamp, um, it's closer to the edge, the flag end than the other end. Just need to make sure I don't go so fast. Okay, here we go. I need to take the grass off. So I've got the, how I've got that on there. See how I've got the, um, it's on my stamp. I can just pick it up. So it should be on there straight. One of the cool things about the photopolymer is you can change the shape. So that if you want to get a curve, a slightly curved image, um, you can do that. But then you have to make sure you, you've got it back <laughs> if you want it straight. So that you, and the grid paper does help you do that. Then I'll put my hair a bit too much on the shot. Oh, I didn't go as far over. I almost did mine more in the middle. Oh, it's almost in the middle. But it looks good. Okay. And then, even though I talked to you about doing it that way, then I still did it the wrong way. Okay. Let's see. What I do with the thread? So this one, they want you to wrap this. And so when I was doing it the first time, 
I again was not paying that close of attention to the directions and I for, didn't so I actually did it all the way around which you totally can but when you do it um, this way it, um, it sits a little bit better and you can hide it so I'll show you when you want to hide it so you can hide the back piece as well as um, when you layer it it's not, it doesn't look like, you know, you've stuck the bow onto your seagull. looks like it's behind our um, sentiment for the bow. So it's going to go ahead. And again, you can still do what I did before, which was tie this in a knot or even just wrap it behind and glue it down with some stamp and seal and then make a bow and put it there, which is probably what I should have done. But I, I'm already there. Already done it. Go. Just have a little bit of a tail on this side. Okay, and then it looks like they do again with the Stampin' Dimensionals. So we need five. One, two, three. And five. So cute. Okay. Then go ahead and take off my little pieces that are a menace. These get everywhere. I think it's just the fear, the sheer volume of them. I don't do as use as many of the little mini glue dots, so I don't have as many of the those ones on here as I do with these Stampin' Dimensionals, so I don't have as mon many everywhere. I think it's the volume. It's, I use so many dimensionals. They're so fun. Go! Awesome sauce. That's so fabulous. Like, it is so pretty. It's so pretty! Okay, so then... Oh, and look, I put it up high. <laughs> I just can't ever follow the directions correctly. Okay, that's all, that's all right. Okay, so in this one... Do they put, they also use dimensionals, and they put it on the bottom, on the bottom of theirs. So not like at the metal or the top, they just put it at the bottom. And then they just stick it over the, so that it overlaps. that so it overlaps your thread just like that very nice and then we're going to take um, they use the glue dots I'm actually going to use my mini glue dots for this one um, and add them to my project Let's see to the back of this bottle I'll probably put five on there probably put five yeah need that many I don't know yeah I probably should I probably should don't chimp out I don't want to skimp on the on the glue dots so that they come off there we go you don't want it to come off although this one doesn't have that much stuff on it so it's not going to be heavy when you have a lot of things on your die cup um, that's when you really put your glue dots to the test. <laughs> when you put a lot of things on it or um, on any of your, when you put a lot of, of stuff on there, then if it's heavy, natural pull off, off of your, oh, yeah, it's just tucked in. So they have it tucked under just a little bit, just like that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let me get some of my drink. Mm. I love this. You guys ever try the black cherry polar? Super yummy. Super yummy. Okay. Seltzer water, which is lovely. My family, or my, well, my boy is my husband. I do not like the seltzer water, and so it, I don't have to worry about them. Drinking it, it lasts longer. They, they're like, oh, there's no sugar. It's so nice. I like it. I need the bubbles, especially during this time. 
of here. Uh, I need that, uh, the bubble water. <gasps> Look how cute! Oh my goodness, he's so adorable. Okay, and so they have him on. Ooh, so you, they use uh, a dimensional on his, um, up here on his head, and then they use two glue dots on his body. So, put the glue dots on. Maybe. Go. And he goes right here. And then we have the two little seagulls. And again, if you guys look at that one, it has where they have the little cut. What did I have done with them? Right here. And then I was moving stuff around. Move them. Here's my glue dots. I don't need the glue dots anymore. I need I need a stamp and dimensional. Don't need my ink. So I knock them on the ground. Right here. I'm sure you guys can probably like they're right there. Let's see. So glue dots. And this goes through my sleeve. That's my extra bottle. They were here. I pulled them out. You guys do that? Do you lose it? Do you have that thing where you're like, oh, where are the scissors? I had them just like two seconds ago. Oh, I've got like a ton of the little um, pieces everywhere. Plus, I'm like sort of blind now. I feel like I'm a little more blind than usual. <laughs> So I thought draw stuff. I also have my trash can like right close. So I always check my trash cans. I always check your trash cans. I couldn't find the lid to my um, take a pick tool and that's where it was. It had fallen into the trash can. Okay, I don't see what I did with them. They were like right here. And now I've lost them. Okay, so let me go. I know I have another one and they know they will show up. So let me pull those out. Isn't that wild? Again. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Isn't that how the saying goes? Or, um, here we go. Luckily you've got three. I know I'll find those other two. Usually I find them like right before I put them on. It's how I usually find them. Okay, and so on they have it. I just lost them again, Christy. Um, right here. Do -do -do. So they take, again, they take the, um, paper snips and they use them to cut it in half and I'm actually going to use again my edges it's like half of one and add that to my go do, do, do. Yeah. use every piece of these dimensionals every piece okay so I can position them the way they have them here. So they have one up here like that. Oh, I see because I have mine up higher. That's why I have it overlap a little bit. And it's almost got like it's tucked under, or tucked over, tucked over. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So, so cute. That's stinking cute. Love, love, love. So on this one, I said I added some sparkle. I, those are the fine, the fine uh, sparkle gems. And then I, of course, had to add with Gastella. I added to the birds and to the, um, to the sails of my ship. It works so cute. And then this is, again, that blue, the blue pieces were from um, the inside of the one coral. And I cut those out because I had to put my bow here. I changed it up a little bit. I have a hard time kidding it. And this one needed to be, when you do yours, if you put yours down just a little bit lower, um, it'll fit a little bit, not as close. But I think it looks pretty good, even overlapping. Not awesome. Love, love, love. And like I said, I did do the inside. Oh, no, I didn't. I actually didn't finish this one. I didn't do the inside of this one. So, hmm, I don't know. Would you guys put the, the ship on the back? So we don't really have a bird that was this this one. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's why I stopped. I didn't do the back because I wasn't sure what to put on there. But I'll definitely think of something. And so when I 
post these um, on my blog later on. Um, I'll sh I'll definitely remember to show you guys what I've done on the back. Oh my gosh, I just I just love this boat and I love this bottle. So like I said, the one bottle that is on the first card that we made matches our vintage bottle punch. So but you can make some more of these if you um, make some super cute. Uh, you totally can make a pattern with them. So for this one, I just for these ones, I just trace them, and then I will be able to trace them again onto any paper if I want to make either make some to cut them out. Um, I've got two new um, the same two bottles because we have the little bottle. Right, we can punch it out. And then I used also with one of these, I actually then put it on a piece of cardstock and I just used some post-it tape here and I used this one I used with the stamp in, with my sponge a dauber and one around the edge. And I used uh, this is smoky slate and then this one I used my blending brush. As you can see, then you can get more bottles. Is that awesome? And then you can cut this one out and you can stamp your boat could go right into that. Is it the big one that the boat goes into? I think you can stamp your boat into the, so you can make more of the ones that the boat fits into, which is what I really wanted to do. And then you can always, um, using your, your, your uh, um, what is this, not this guy, um, stencil, you can add, um, make this brown at the top if you want to make your cork, or you could cut out a piece of a different color cardstock to put on there to make it look like the cork is in there. Um, however, there's like all kinds of things you can do. Plus, I really like how you were going to make, you can use the, you can do that with your bottles too to make um, for Halloween, as a Halloween background too, the different bottles in the background. Um, so it's super cool. Like I'm very excited, really excited. I can make more of the the boat, the, bo the the bottles that you can put the boat in because I love that. That was my favorite part. Love, love, love. And then of course the bottle is super cute, the little vintage bottle because he is really a lovely size as well. And I use this as the this is the thick the thick white, so it has a little bit stronger. So if you're gonna make a um, if you're gonna make some templates. I would use a thicker cardstock for it, but um, now I have a little template, so it's super cute. Love of love, all the bottles, very fun. Okay, so keep all your pieces because you can put them on, use them on your cards, like I did for this one. I cut I cut out the little pieces and added them to the inside, um, or make you can make more, make more bottles using it as a stencil. There you go. Oh my gosh. Now remember, it is still celebration. So if you want to make sure you get um, next month's kit, um, and you're thinking you're going to love, uh, if you're new, or even if you have a month subscription, but you know you're going to get the next three because we're coming up on the holidays and we always have really cute holiday um, paper pumpkins, you can always buy a prepaid code in my online store. And when you buy a prepaid code in my online store, um, you can get uh, qualify, you can qualify for free celebration stuff, which is so awesome. Like everybody wants, everybody wants the free celebration stuff. Um, and we have a little over a month left of celebration. We've already only run out of one of the things, only one thing sold out. So there all those adorable hippos. I think I just had another hippo card a Christmas one, just go live. So um, if you aren't sure, and look how gorgeous this card is. Um, this is one of the cards in next month's kit. You can see there, there there's are those gold honeycomb, um, those go gold foil honeycomb panels that come free with your kit as well. So awesome. You can just get one month at a time or again, get that prepaid and earn some um, celebration items. And if you make a purchase at my online store using my host code, um, not only will you get a free thing of the speckle, the free sparkle gems that I actually used on some of the cards today that, uh, that I showed you, um, 
with a $50 purchase, I will also send you the Splendid Day tutorial bundle for free. And the Splendid Day is one of the more, it's like a springy, almost summery um, set that's in our new uh, July to December mini catalog. It's a gorgeous set with this beautiful foil on designer series paper. But if you're not sure what to do with it, I can, there's a 27 different tutorials. Um, they are, they come in metric and inches, so imperial and metric. So it's awesome. It's an awesome bundle. You can also get it in my online store. But thank you guys so much for being in today. What's going on tonight? Let's see. Where is the title? I'm trying to figure go. I'm still figuring out my new save, but so thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed um, uh, the paper pumpkin kit. Um, I love the paper pumpkin and I hope to see you guys later. And remember you can get refills if you already got yours. Get more of these gorgeous things in my online store. So have a good day. Happy crafting. See you on Friday. Bye.